Hello and uh, welcome to the 30k channel, a channel dedicated to games set in the Horus Heresy. I'm your host David Brains, uh, and we're finally here. I'm pleased to announce that Nick and Jamie are back. We're back for our first 500 points uh, mini hobby escalation. So gents, thanks for coming back. Yeah. Now since we last spoke, uh, Nick you've been furiously painting, is that alright? Uh, feverishly, yeah. yeah. Uh, we've done five weeks we've been since we've been. Mm. And, uh, that's the result of it. That's what we've got so far. So how many points is this roughly? Uh, this is about 1,400, 1,300, something like that. That's great. Really, really cool. And Jamie, what have you been up to? Um, not as much. Nowhere near as, <laughs> nowhere near as much as Nick. Um, I've managed to get a few my prowls done. I've managed to get a few extra Castellacs done. And mm -hmm. I've managed to get my Magos conversion done as well. Great. Oh, slowly. He's got some good legs on him, that guy. Yeah, he's got some good legs. <laughs> <laughs> he's been to the upgrade shop and yeah. uh, had his legs done. Um, and also, as well, I don't think you guys will mind me saying, but um, it's been a late night last night, is that right? Yeah. From both of you? Yep. Uh, it's 2 a.m. I finished painting. Uh, and then woke up this morning and carried on. <laughs> In fact, carried on. I was doing painting about an hour ago. Um, up until midnight and then had to get up at about six and paint for a couple of hours before I came then as well. You were doing some frowls, <laughs> were you? I was painting frowls at about Brilliant. six this morning. I love it. Well, that's the reality. You know, a lot of tournaments I go to, you know, there's people sitting in the hotel rooms painting models for the tournament the night before. I mean, that's you know, that's pretty keen. I mean, I, I personally, I, I like it way in advance. I hate the last minute struggle, but you guys did a great job and, uh, you know, I'm glad you finished the frowls because I think they'll come really handy in this game, won't they? Uh, so what we're going to do, we're just going to have a quick look at, um, at Nick. Nick has brought uh, one of his famous sticks along with us, um, which is secreted quite stealthily behind here. There we go. And we'll do a bit of a close-up shot whilst we're talking about this as well, so you guys can see what's happening. But So just explain what you've got going on here, Nick. Okay, so uh, a lot of people were asking on the YouTube comments and on Instagram how I've painted the fists. So mm. what I've done is I've, I've done a stage step-by-step so at the beginning we've got a guy that's just been airbrushed um, so it's a black undercoat a white top down mm -hmm. uh, zenith zenithal highlight oh yeah that sounds, sounds good to me um, whether it makes a difference or not, I don't know I just do it um, <laughs> then it's Zandri Dust is the main yellow or beige I suppose would be yeah, more accurate you and then it's Avalon Sunset again from 45 degrees just a very light dusting great then um, a black uh, do the trim and the silver dots uh, rivets um, put the transfers on uh, and then I give it a, a wash with uh, seraphim sepia mm -hmm. uh, slightly slightly watered down um, not, not too much um, and then blast it with matte varnish and uh, do the eyes and, okay. and that's pretty much it it's really quick cool you know and then you've got you know as you said in the previous video you've got plenty of these sticks with just squads all lined up and you just smash around right five at a time if you yeah. do any more uh, this is what mark bedford was saying mm -hmm. on, the, on the open day if you do more than five you tend to get oh i've got if you get halfway through it's getting late you think oh i've well, still got five to do it's mm. too, too much i'll leave it whereas if you halfway through that you think oh there's only two more just to yeah. just to black out so i'll just get it done um it's a little bit psychological i guess it, as well, it is it? yeah it's very much um but once you get going it is really quick mm. i mean i was doing uh, on the best day, I was doing a, a stick a night, um, well, wow. and that's yeah. That, I mean, that is pushing it. It's good going though. Yeah, it's good going. But it gets some paint and gets some paint quick. Yeah, and that's what I wanted to do with these guys. Great stuff. So. Well, it certainly helped for this little hobby campaign here as well. So uh, you know, because you, Jamie, you were a bit, um, <clears throat> you had quite a reasonable bit done, hadn't you? I had quite a, quite a fair force already, yeah. ready to go. And it's also worth noting as well. You, you've got a, you've got a Thanatar as well, which unfortunately. Is banned from Zone Mortalis. <laughs> God damn it! It would have been yeah. cool to see a Thanatar in there, but um, so you have got a few more points than you actually got on the board, haven't you? So. I have. Yeah, I've got a lot, uh, quite a few big things that are mm. at home um, that can't be used in Zone, but yeah. um, it's making me paint a lot of more of the like the frowls, the units that are, uh, I hate. I hate block painting. And mm. it, it's making me get on with them and and actually have some little units that are okay, useful rather than just big cool things. Great. And and hopefully once we're done with this little Zone Mortalis thing, we might get you in a much bigger game on a six before and then we'll use your, your calyx and everything else. So that'd be pretty cool. Uh, also, it's worth noting as well that uh, maybe you've been following Jamie or Nick at home on Instagram, but um, but uh, their names will flash up on the bottom here. So if you do want to see more of their work or more close up photos, then you can certainly follow them. And, and the method that Nick used for his Imperial Fist, you can just follow him there and uh, 
and go from there really. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll get into the guts of the campaign or the, the first mission. We'll go through those bits and bobs uh, and then we'll, we'll start throwing some dice. We're back now to discuss the, the mission that we've designed. So it's all pretty much custom. We have based it generally off uh, the Zone Mortalis mission pack available from Forge World, but we have tweaked it. So you would have seen that uh, the, the map we've built is essentially a long corridor, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so the, the premise of the game is, is that um, the Imperial Fists are pushing up through the corridor. There's three doors in the corridor which the Mechanicum are defending, denoted by the lovely red Mechanicum doors with the symbols. Uh, and essentially, the Imperial Fists have got to gain access through the doors and then that means then they, they get into the wider ship and then the campaign will go thereafter. So what we've got here is, uh, so we, we're going to score points. So if Nick breaches the doors, you'll get an extra stratagem point. Yep. If Jamie prevents the Imperial Fists getting through the doors, you will gain a stratagem point. Yep. There's also, there's an offshoot, there's a right hand turn and then there's a console down in a little room. So if Jamie defends the console successfully, you will gain another strategy point. Yep. But if Nick captures the console, you will get a strategy point. Yep. And then we will use the stratagem tables in the next two or three games to dictate the bonuses and how that happens. Uh, so we're not going to use strategy points in this in this game. We're not going to use blips. We're not going to use cold and avoid. It's just going to be a super simple Mephisto got to get from that board. To through the doors and the mechanic and we've got to stop. Yeah. The only other special condition that we've put in the game is is that if the Imperial Fist destroy any Mechanicum units, they will then go into ongoing reserve, and then on a five up, uh, Jamie will be able to get them back, back yeah. in the game, but they will only be able to come through the three, three red doors. doors. Yeah. Okay, and that's to represent that the the fists have breached the breached the complex or breached the ship. Uh, and the Mechanicum are scrambling to pull units from different areas of the ship to reinforce the breach. So that's the kind of little mechanic we've got there. Um, other than that, I think that's all what that's we've designed, isn't it? Yeah, pretty, pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Uh, we will use the expanded rule set in the later games, but just for the first one, we're going to keep it super simple, just a nice and easy. Uh, and I think that's all we've got. Um, and then force-wise, we're using 500 points, is that right? Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Cool. So we'll condense these forces down we've got in front of us. Uh, and then we'll go straight to it. And we're also going to film this one a little bit differently as well. We're going to have the guys seated, and I'll be filming from the front, so it'll have a little bit of a different look to what we've done before, but hopefully it'll be something new and you guys will enjoy it. Um, Jamie, do you see any issues coming up in this game for you, or you reckon you've got it? Uh, there's a lot of fists, um, even in 500 points. Mm. I know Nick's going to have 20 guys, I think it was. Yeah, 20 you, guys, yeah. I'm probably going to have about 10. <laughs> yeah. 10, 12, no, I'm probably not that bad, but not not very many at all. Um, it, it's, it's worth noting as well, sorry, I should say, Jamie, that we've got no turn length on this. This game will go on for 10, 12, 20 turns, whatever it takes. All that needs to happen is either the Mechanicum will wipe the fists out or the fists will breach the door. There's no restriction. So those units that you'll lose, you get great opportunity to get those five bring ups to bring them back on. Yeah. And you'll and you'll bring them back on at the point of which the Imperial Fist need to get access to. So it could be quite interesting. I hope. <laughs> uh, <we'll see. laughs> and Nick, what do you what do you think? Are you any problems you think you can deal with or I am a little bit concerned about survivability because You reckon? I three up save is when you've got multi motors potentially and yeah. there's not you it's not that much Firepower in the five in the five hundred list, so it's mm. not too bad. Yeah, there's no mauler pattern bolt guns. There's mm. it's mostly just flamers. Uh, the only I've only got the the one multi motor in the five hundred, so it's not too mm. too bad. It shouldn't okay. be too, mm. and the lightning guns aren't that bad either. So it's it's more the fact you've got to get through the the multiple wound mm. characters that are gonna yeah, yeah they are they are tough. And the reason why we're not using Cold and the Void in this first one is because, you know, Nick has a lot of bolters and strength four are rending and they will rip cast stacks apart just like that. So yeah. I can speak for experience, <laughs> I can tell you. So we, we're not using Cold and the Void here at the moment, uh, but we, we probably will do in later games, but then we'll have more models on the table and yeah. it'll be a bit more balanced. So, uh, so yeah. So that's what we've got. I'm quite keen to see how this one unfolds. I think it'll be a great start to the campaign. Uh, I wish you good luck, gentlemen and uh, we'll see you in first turn. 
Mechanicum's own Mortalis Force, 500 points. I've tried to keep it very simple, um, keep things bare bones and not uh, not adding too much onto them. So I've got the Magos Dominus at the front, which has got an Auger Scanner, uh, a Machinator Array. I've mastercrafted his, his power weapon because I had, I had five points left over. Um, I've got the Tetrails at the front, which any upgrade I've given them is the Right of Pure Fort. Uh, the Castellax with a multi motor and two Flamers and the Power Blades. The Phalax, there's five Phalax there, all with but it's bog standard lightning guns. No, I've not, well, I've tried to stay away from giving them Ferox like I normally do in the chain blades because I want to keep it simple for this game. But next time I'll probably add that onto it. Five hundred points of Imperial fists, uh, running the Zone Mortalis Assault Force Right of War. For my HQ, I've got a Delegatus armed with Artificer armor, boarding shield, and a power fist. Then I've got two troops. When, a Breacher Squad, uh, and with two Melter Guns, and the Sergeant's got an Artificer Armour and Power Fist. And then a Tactical Squad uh, with a Sergeant with Artificer Armour and Power Axe and Melter Bombs. Zone Mortalis Assault Force Right of War allows Breacher Squads, whose members are all currently in base-to-base -base contact, uh, get plus one to their invulnerable saves. This will really help with their survivability, especially against the Multi Melters uh, and the Lightning Guns. Here we are, the Mechanicum and the Imperial Fists are all set to go. Uh, the Imperial Fists are going first, is that right Nick? Uh, that's right, and I hope it stays that way. Um, <laughs> and uh, Jamie, you've got the chance to see, so would you like first turn? I'd like it very much, I hope so anyway. So <laughs> let's see if I can take it. No. <laughs> it's a two, okay, two. so Imperial Fists. Imperial Fists, turn one, the movement phase. Uh, the Breaches have pushed forward into the corridor. Um, it will open them up to some attacks from the Phalax, but it will be minimal shots. Um, so we're pushing forward uh, and we're going to engage the Thralls. We've got seven bolt gun shots that are uh, within range. Um, so this, uh, Imperial Fists hit on twos because of plus one ballistic skill with bolt weapons. And uh, let's pull the trigger and see what happens. Uh, three misses. Even with BS5, brilliant. Um, and then it's threes to wound against the Thralls because they're only toughness three. Two wounds. Two wounds. So I get a six up fill no pain from my, my Thralls. So two six up fill no pains. Uh, five and a two, no dice. So two of them go down. Well, two's better than none. So that's not a bad start. Mechanicum turn one, the Tech Thralls have moved forward with the Dominus behind and the Castellax moving up through the door as well. Um, they're just going to slowly lumber up, um, shielding the, the Castellax. I've then got my Phalax, which have popped out from around the corner. They're going to hopefully do some shooting on the side of the fists and then they can use their jetpack move to poke back in out of the way and avoid those pesky bolt guns. Mechanicum turn one shooting, so first thing I'm going to shoot is my Castellax off so I can get the multi melter into the front. It's just one multi melter, but you never know it makes a difference. So it's basic skill four, one shot, it's five, so that's a hit, and then two to wound, a two, so just a wound. So I've got a five up in run from the shield or five plus cover from shooting through the thralls. No, nope. one breacher dies. Next up, we've got the Phalax shooting. We've got the lightning guns, which are strength seven, AP four. They are shred and rending, so hopefully I can get to at least some wounds, or maybe some some rending shots on the, the side of the uh, the breaches. So two shots. This is skill four. Uh, no dice. Two twos. Next up, we have the frail shooting. So we've got six large locks in range. This is skill two, strength four. So six shots of fives. We have three hits. So for, for the wounds, fours, you have two wounds. So I've got two three up saves from power armor. So another one dies. Imperial Fist turn two movement, pushing forward again, the breaches and the tax squad. 
we're going to try and kill the Castellax this turn with just bolt gun fire um, and try and put as many rounds down range as possible. Let's see what happens. Imperial Fist, turn two shooting. So we've got the Breachers are going to fire their bolt guns at the Castellax. Got five bolt guns in range, uh, so I've got five shots hitting on twos. That's a bit better. And then wounding on sixes. It's one wound. So one free up safe the uh, the cast lines. One safe. And then we've got six bolt guns from the squad behind. Uh, again, same target, the cast lines. Hit on twos. Six hits. Looking for six hits. Nothing. Okay, so overview. Uh, bit disappointing with the shooting, not causing any wounds at all. Uh, and I'm a bit concerned about these Thalax jumping out, but I've got nowhere else to go, so I've got to stay in the corridor and just weather the, weather the storm. We can turn two movement. I've moved at pretty much everything I've got. I've moved the Frowls up, I've moved the Castellax up, I've moved the Magos up, the Magos Dominus. I've moved up my phalanx. They're going to hopefully move along the corridor now and start being a little bit more, a little bit more pokey. So I know he's not going for the controller. I can be a little more, a little bit more moving. I think. Um, hopefully, I can hit the back unit that's still at full strength. Um, they're what's worrying me a bit now. I know the the breaches are going to do their job and push me back, but once they've done that, I think they'll be a bit of a spent spent force. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We can come turn two shooting. Three of the Phalax can shoot their lightning guns, so I'm going to go with that. See if I can do damage on the squad behind. Three shots, this is good four. Two hits. Strength seven, shred and rending. So, yeah, both two wounds. And one of them is APT. So, one's dead automatically, and then I've got one three up save, which you might passes. Frau's firing their uh, Laslocks into the breacher squad, so you've got eight shots. This is skill two, so it's fives. Poor, poor. Three and two bad though, but it's still not what I'd like to hope for. Then you've got force to wound. One wound. So I've got one three up save, which I pass. Finally, the Castellax multi mount is going to shoot into the breaches, so one shot. This is skill four. Doesn't hit, it's a miss. And that is the end of my shooting. Review of my turn. I've moved up quite close now. I've jetpacked the phalanx, being a bit more aggressive with their with their movements because I've got to make the uh, the fist commit now. Um, I've not done really any any da any damage to them, but I'm starting to push them a bit. Hopefully, uh, have a crunch time soon and uh, pin them in. Imperial fist turn three movement. I've pushed the breaches forward to meet the thralls. Uh, but I'm going to engage the Castellax with the shooting. Uh, it's my intention anyway, see if I can bring it down with two melter guns. The tactical squad have held back in the T section so they can put fire either direction depending on how well the breach of shooting goes. Imperial Fist turn three shooting. Uh, I'm going to shoot the bolt guns, uh, the breach squad at the Castellax. So I've got 11 bolt shots in range and two melter guns. So. White dice hitting on twos, red dice hitting on threes. Obviously one metal misses. And then it's sixes to wound on the white dice and threes to wound on the red dice. So I've got two wounds, one at AP2. Three plus save first, which he makes. And then you've got the AP2, which will be my five up in run from my automatic shielding, which he makes. Damn it. Uh, so now we've got the tactical marines to fire. Um, I really need to do some damage to this Castellax, otherwise I'm not going to get through that at all. Um, I, I'm struggling here. I really really need to pull something out of the out of the hat. So I've got another eight bolt gun shots from the tactical squad. Coming in, hitting on twos. That's two misses. And we're on sixes. All sixes would be lovely. No, not a sausage. Very disappointing. Turn three, Mechanicum. Moved all my frows up, moved my phalanx up. I've uh, moved the Castlax a little bit out of the way because he's taken a lot of firepower from both squads now. So I've just moved him out of the way. He's, he's there if he's needed to. 
which you probably will do, so I know those Marines are going to eat through those frails eventually. The uh, the phalax are moving, so you can get uh, get onto that rear unit and pin them down, hopefully. Mechanicum turn three shooting. First off, I've got eight frails that are going to be shooting into the breacher squad, uh, and also the Magos has joined the frail squad, uh, and he's going to put a Inferno pistol shot in there as well for, for giggles. So you've got the eight shots, so this is skill five, this is skill two, sorry, so fives. Ooh, two, two hits. And then you have four terrains. One wound, so one free up save. One three up. It's fine, loves it. Then you've got the Inferno pistol, which you're going to go in. Miss. That's a shame. But at least they're close to charge now, where they can get in there and pin them down. Next up, Mechanicum shooting, you've got the Phalanx going to put their five lightning guns into the squad behind. So it's going to be five strength seven shots with the rending and the shred. So you've got four hits, one miss, wounds. Oh, I'm thank God I've got that shred. Three ones in one guy. That's better. So you've got three normal saves and then a rending save as well. So one's automatically dead and then three three ups. Two, so another one dies. Mechanical Assault phrase turn three. So the frails of the Magos are gonna go into the breaches. Nick has to try and do his reactionary fire test, which is if he rolls his initiative, he can hit me at his normal blister skill. So Nick's gonna roll his initiative. It's a pass. So I've got 11 bulk shots and two melter shots going into the Throws uh, at normal blister skill. Uh, of course one metal misses, as usual. Uh, so reds are wounding on twos and white dice are wounding on threes. Uh, so one melt, one, one melt so with straw from the melter, yep. so I no, don't get feel no pain for that. So you've got one instant death and then we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wounds. Right, so I'll take one off for the instant death straight away. Wound allocation, we'll do the six guys at the front and then see when it gets to and it gets back to the guys at the back of the Magos. So the first six. What do you need? Feel no pain, six plus. So that's one saved and five fails. So the first five guys go down. So now we've got the two guys at the front and head ahead of the Magos before we switch it over. So that is another two and then we'll have one left. So they go both go down. And this one I might take on the Magos because he's got his normal save anyway which is better. So we'll see if what it does. More, more wounds and he passes. So the two guys at the front go down. A lot of frail's gone there but it does get my Magos in uh, with his challenge uh, and one frail in. So we'll see if we make the three inch charge. So that's them in, in and, in and done. The Phalax are going to charge the next tactical unit, but Nick gets to roll to see if he can get his reaction from fire. Pass again. So I've got, uh, it was 13 bolt shot, well 14 bolt shots in total. The Delegatus is in red, so because he's ballistic skill six when firing a bolt pistol. So hitting on twos. That's nice. And then wounding on fives because the phalanx are tough as five. Only two wounds. So I get my four up and then my inferno pains if I fail from there. So my two four up saves. One's laughing, one isn't. And then we've got the feel no pain. So one takes a wound. Phalanx charge, one wound suffered, but it gets uh, gets me a three inch charge. Let's see if we can make the three inches. Oh, worried with the one there, but we're in. Phalanx have got in, Nick will get his normal uh, initiative attacks as I'm initiative two. Okay, so we've got six normal marines. Uh, they're hitting on threes because of their weapon skill. Uh, so that's five hits, and they're, but they're wounding on fives because of the Phalanx of toughness five. So that's one wound. So I get my four up and then my six up if I need it. He's laughing, it's fine. So then I will get my 10 attacks. I don't get anything for charging because his Delegatus has its boarding shield. A bit annoying, but no mind. And then, so 10 attacks and they are hitting on fours and then wounding on threes. Oh, that's not too bad. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits and then freeze to wounds. Got dice. So I have four wounds. So I've got 
for three plus normal saves. They love it. So now striking at initiative one, we've got the uh, sergeant with a power axe. So he's hitting on threes. So that's two hits, and then he's wounding on fours because he's now strength five. So that's one wound at AP two. So I get my one save on a six of fear no pain. So one more loses a wound. And then my Delegatus uh, will attack. He's got three attacks base. He doesn't get any more because he's got boarding shield. So three attacks hitting on threes. Drops one. So that's two hits. And these are strength eight because he's got a power fist. So that's two wounds at AP2. Two Inferno Pains on a six plus. Ooh. So one goes down and then one has a wound. Mechanicum have lost uh, the uh, the combat, so I've got a leadership test to make. I'm stubborn, I'm leadership eight, so let's see if they'll stay in the fight. They do, they're happy, they're having it. Next combat for the Mechanicum, the uh, the Magos and his one frail remaining have gone into the Breacher squad. Nick goes first because he's got his uh, higher initiative. And my sergeant has to issue a challenge being an Imperial Fist, so do you accept the challenge? I do accept the challenge. Okay, so they'll fight separately. So I've got seven normal Breachers hitting the Thrall. Uh, so I'm hitting on threes, so that's six hits. So the highest toughness is five because of the Magos, so I'm wound wounding on fives. So I've got one wound. So I'll take this on the Frau. So the Frau has his five up normal save and then save and then the feel no pain. So then feel no pain. No, so the Frau goes down. So now we've got the challenge, which goes at initiative one. The Mechanicum has decided to go, well, well, we'll do it in sequence so the Mechanicum goes first. I've got my initiative one power axe attacks. So I get three attacks because I don't get four because of because it's boarding shields. And it is going to be fours. <laughs> Let's see about the wounds. So I am strength five because of the axe. That is three AP2s. Three AP2s, so uh, I've got three, uh, five up, four up boarding shield save because of the right of war, because I'm within base to base contact. So three four ups. No, he is very dead. And two of those will spill over onto the other uh, breaches. But uh, I still get to attack back. I've got my Machinator Array attacks as well. Um, so there, because he's got his Machinator Array, he gets two attacks at strength five, and they are shred as well. AP2. So one of them hits. <laughs> Reroll that shred. Uh, and there's one more AP2. So that's one more four up save. So that's him. And then my power fist attacks back before he dies. Uh, so I'm hitting on threes. So that's two hits. And then wounding on twos. Two wounds. So uh, AP2. I don't get instant death because of my machina array raising my toughness, luckily. Uh, so I've got my two refractor field saves, five up. And I get my feel no pain. Laughing. The Imperial Fist lost the combat by two, um, so I've got to take a leadership test. Uh, unfortunately the Magos was a bit tougher than I was anticipating and managed to survive. So let's see what happens. They're passed, they're fine. Imperial Fist turn four, I've gone straight into the assault phase because uh, both my units were locked up. Um, the combat with the Phalax, we didn't film it, uh, but I managed to cause four wounds and took none in return. And unfortunately, Jamie failed his leadership test on a double six and was swept. And was uh, swept away. Yeah, which was a great victory. Brutal. Uh, I managed to consolidate an inch, so get out of the way, so if the breaches fail, and flee back, there's at least a path they can get down and not be destroyed. But now we're going to move on to this combat here. The Imperial Fist Breaches uh, now attack against the Magos. We've got five basic attacks, nothing fancy. We're hitting on threes though. Uh, that's three, five hits. And then we're wounding on fives so though. That's the difficult bit. That's Ooh. three wounds. Three free up saves. So the one feel no pain for the other wound that, was, that went through fails anyway, sorry. He's gone down to one wound. 
Mechanical attacks back. I've got three normal attacks with my power axe, so it's strength five, AP two. But I've also got my two machinator array, so we're rolling them all together because they're the same initiative. The two red dice are the ones that are going to have the shred from the machinator array. So that is one, two, three, go three. And then two wounds. So just the one AP two. So I've got one four up save from their boarding shields. It fails, so I take a wound. Imperial Fist Overview. Unfortunately, the Magos didn't die in combat, which means the Castellax is going to come wheeling in and I'm not going to be able to reactionary fire uh, or do anything about it. Um, so I'm going to get stuck in a combat, really, and I can't move my tactical marines forward in the next turn either. So it's going to be interesting. Mechanical in turn four. Let's see if I can get my reserves in, as we spoke about with the, uh, the mission special rules. See if I can get my frows or my phalax back on. So for the frows, we'll see if we can get some back on. Nope. And the phalax, we'll see if they can come back on. Yeah, oh, phalax come back on. No. Imperial Fist Breaches get to go first because they're initiative four. I'm going to attack the Magos. Uh, so I'm hitting on threes. Uh, I get two hits and I'm wounding on fives. So that's one wound. AP dash. Three up save for the Magos. Laughing. Next up we've got the Castellax, so I have my five attacks, strength six. Ooh, three hits, twos to wounds. So three AP twos. So I've got three four ups in one saves because I'm still in base to base contact with everyone. So only one dies. So now I've got my Magos' attacks. Uh, so I'll do my three normal and then my three machinate, my two machinate array. So one hit and one wound. Um, and then I'll do the machinator array and then Nick can roll all the safes together. One machinator array hit, and a wound again. So that's two AP twos. So two four up in vans. Two more die. Which means I lose the combat by two. So leadership eight down to leadership six. Pass. So stay. End of a kinetic from turn five. Quite happy with that combat there. I know I can push them that way. I know I've got the doors quite secure with all those phalax there, but the computer console is unguarded. And I know Nick's, <laughs> Nick's going to be looking at using that tactical squad to get to that very, very quickly. So I need to try and push past these uh, what's left of these breaches and get, get, get to the tactical guys very quickly. Imperial Fist turn six. A uh, quick overview. What we've done is the attack squad has run moved and then ran towards the console, see if I can get that objective before the Castellax cuts everyone up. My Delegatus has split off and charged into the Castellax. Hopefully his Power Fist might be able to do something and help bring him down. Imperial Fist Assault Phase. The Delegatus made it into combat, so the two Breaches get to go first, they're Initiative 4. So I've got two basic attacks, they're going to hit the Magos. Uh, so I've got one hit hitting on threes and then wounding on fives. That's another wound. So I get my free up save, which he fails. So I get my Fiona pain, which he fails. So the Magos is down. I can't come to attacks back with the Castellax. So I've got my three attacks. So that's one hit and to wounds, one wound. So this is against the breaches. Uh, so I've got one four up save. So one breacher dies. Next up, the Delegatus is attacking the Castellax. I've got four attacks, three attacks base, plus one for charging. Uh, these are with the power fist, so I'm hoping I can bring him down. So I'm hitting on threes. One weapon is master crafted with a delegatus. Never mind. Not very well. And then wounding on threes. No wounds. <laughs> Disappointed. So you lose combat? I lose combat by one, that means. So I've got two separate leadership tests. So the Breacher Squad needs seven, pass, and then the Delegatus is leadership nine, minus one is eight, he's fine. Imperial Fist turn six overview. Really gutted I didn't manage to do any damage to the Castellax at all with four attacks from my Delegatus with a Power Fist, but never mind. The, tax, uh, the doors are lost, so the Tax Squad is my only real hope of getting a, a stratagem point for the next game and going after the console. Mechanicum turn six, so I've moved up my frows, not my frows, I've moved up my phalax, uh, got them close, they can't get into combat unfortunately because of the spaces, 
The Castellax is still in combat with the, two, with the, two, the two little marines there. Nick will go first. We'll jump straight into combat because there's not much else we can do. So breacher attacks first. So it's one attack. Uh, hits, hitting on threes, which is a hit, and then but wounding on sixes, nothing. Now the Castellax gets to fight back. So three attacks. <laughs> no, no, no dice. That leads me straight into the Delegatus. So he's got three attacks with his Power Fist. Hopefully I can do something this time. Uh, so it's one hit, one Master Crafted. So that makes it two hits. And then looking at threes to wound. Two wounds, finally. Two six at Automata Shields. <laughs> so one, one wound. Well, that's better than nothing. Better than nothing. So, not happy with that. I really wanted to get through those Marines, but Nick gets another move next time. I'm probably going to struggle to stop and get that console. Imperial Fist turn seven. Fortunately, I was very lucky to hold the Castellax up to stop the Thalax from getting through last turn to chase my tactical squad down. The tactical squad have moved and then run. So next turn, I'll be able to assault the door with metal bombs, breach it, and get in towards the console. Uh, but now we're going to run straight into the combat. So same again as before. So I've got one breacher. So he's hitting on threes, wounding on sixes. No, and that's the, cast uh, the castle axis turn to attack. So I've got my three attacks as standard. Two hits, one wound. So I'll take this on the breacher, so it's a five up save now because he's not in base to base contact with another breacher. No, he dies. Now the Delegata steps to attack. So it's three attacks again with his power fist. Hitting on threes, one, one with master crafted. So that's three hits. Now only threes to wound. That's two wounds. Two six up saves. One more wound. Down to one. A quick overview of the Imperial Fists. Uh, the attack squad going to charge that door next turn and uh, breach it with the melt bombs. Thankfully, I held the, the Castellax, it's still held up, and the Thalax can't get through down the corridor, which means the attack squad should be safe now to carry on to their objective. Mechanicum turn seven. So, we're going to go straight into the combat because I can't do anything else because Nick's tied me up. Um, so, my attacks go first with my, uh, my Castellax. So, I've got my three attacks. So, two hit, one wound. So I've got a five up boarding shield save. He fails, so he takes a wound. Delegatus gets to attack back now with his power fist. Looking for three to hit again. That's one master crafted. So that's two hits, three to wound. Only one wound. My six up save, so down to one wound. Imperial Fist turn 8, we've sh skipped straight to the assault phase again, the tactical squad charged the door and managed to blow it up with the melter bomb, so they will move in on my following turn, and the comp we're going straight into the combat, so the Castellax gets to strike first again. So I get my 3 attacks, I need 4s to hit, all hit, and then 2s to wound. So that is 2 AP2s. So I've got 2 5 up invun saves, or I'm dead. Ah, oh, he still oh, dies. Just about. Heroic sacrifice. But I've held him up long enough. We still, at least we'll get to the uh, objective. Imperial Fist turn 9. So the tactical squad has managed to get to the, the console um, and the Mechanicum were held up by the Delegatus for long enough so that they couldn't stop them. The Delegatus and the Breacher squad sold themselves dearly to hold them up for that long, but they're really pleased that they managed to do it. But the extra stratagem point going into the next game might prove very useful. We're back. What an interesting game. Nick, you didn't quite get to the doors, no? No. Uh, well, I kind of would have helped her kill that Castellax, but he just <laughs> he remained... Was, he was tough. No, yeah. Brendan. Yeah, yeah, you did really well with that Castellax, you know. I mean... I, I, I thought you were going to do with the Delegatus. I should have done, I think, yeah. statistically. Um, <laughs> but the Delegatus held him up yeah. and allowed me to get the, the console. So That was the crucial thing as well. Yeah, And that scored you an extra strategy point for the next game as well. Yeah. So it didn't quite make the breach, but we got the information from the console and that might 
that might give us a different access point rather than through that main entrance might give us access points later on in the game so that'd be quite interesting uh, Jamie, I think you did a great job fending the fists off there. Yeah, it was a bit of a struggle at some points. I might have misjudged a few things. Mm. Um, I'm quite happy with how the uh, the Magos happened, how the Magos worked, mm. the Phalax uh, and the Castalax. I think the uh, the Frows did their job. There is a meat shield. Yeah, but as they're bare bones, they're very they're very much there just to get shot. Yeah. Um, very happy all round with how that happened, especially the Magos with the Machinator array. Mm. That that the Machinator array, twenty five points. It 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 made made that that model basically. It it, it stomped through most of the yeah. the breaches. Yeah, yeah, he did. Most of the wounds job. were from from him from the breaches. Mm. Just going <laughs> snippy, 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 snipping. It did really good. Uh, so yeah, so that was the that was the first game, five hundred points. Uh, now we did go through everything. We covered all the rules. We did virtually every every match and every role for you. But in the next two three games, we're just going to whiz straight through it. We'll kill. We'll film key roles and key key combats, but we're just going to whiz through it real quick. Uh, so hopefully this was a really great introduction, and particularly those who haven't played Zomaltice before. You know, it was a good introduction to the rules. I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, and also we're going to use the stratagem. Uh, points for next game as well so we'll go through them in the next game and and hopefully Nick it might help Nick to infiltrate the fists up a little bit more and Jamie might offer you a few barricades or a few of the bits and bobs so we'll go through those as we as sneaky, we can sneaky fists sneaky fists why not <laughs> uh, and obviously we're going to have a thousand points in the next game aren't thousand we points. thousand points so Nick what are you going to try and squeeze in that thousand points I've got another squad of breaches hopefully uh -huh. and uh, a squad of heavy flamers ah right because heavy flamers in zone mortalis Brilliant. Yes. Yeah. Template weapon, so you get shred. And if we're playing Cold in the Void, are we do. We are going to do Cold in the Void next. Because yep. so we're we're in a, a Mechanicum spaceship. Um, cold in the Void means that any strength for shooting attack. Yep. Uh, is becomes rending. Uh, yes. On, so on a six. It's so. Brilliant. Yeah. That that those rending attacks they don't work against uh, models in Terminator armor, artificer right, yeah. armor, or anything with Void Hardened, which you can equip the Thalax with Void Hardened, can't you? I can if I give him a Carian, which means they can deep strike. But it's 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 twenty five points. Oh, I don't I'm not sure how many points it is. It's a fair amount of points for something I'm not going to use. Yeah. When they already get Phil No Pain and stuff like that mm. as well. It's it's M Fright. M Fright. That's it. Yeah. yeah. The uh, the one they they jumped in. It's not one I've really used to be honest, but. Uh, I'll give it a go. I might give it a go next game, but I'm more interested in getting more Castalax on and then mm. bumping up, bumping up the Frows, um, giving them a better feel no pain, giving them sure. a bit more, a bit more of a boost to a bit more combat effective. Yeah, yeah, and you know, and that and that cold in the void will really help against the Castalax. You know, strength four, That's running true. AP two, bomb. You know, I've played Zomotalis quite a lot with my uh, Castalax, and that they get shredded by bolters, so uh, that will certainly help Nick out uh, in the coming games. Uh, so I really hope you've enjoyed it. Again, you know, if you want to follow these guys and their painting and what they've been up to in the last few weeks, you can go to Instagram. So uh, Nick, you are Krieger Forty K. Great stuff. And Jamie, get some Marines one. Great stuff. And those will be flashed up on the bottom, so you can have a look at those. And uh, we look forward to the next thousand point game. Thanks, guys. Mm.